Okay, water please. Right then, mate. Cheers. Cheers mate. Good luck, everyone. Chin chin, old chap. <laughs> <laughs> First, it's back to just Friday on BBC Two with Rachel Koo. <laughs> Rachel Koo on BBC Two. It's not funny though, is it? <laughs> <laughs> not already. <coughs> now, Rachel Koo was this week's cook abroad. <laughs> and in Malaysia, poor Rachel seems to have been caught out by one of the local customs. <laughs> Ollie! Straight away. Here we go, ready? Before I leave, the village headman is determined to see if I can shoot his blowpipe. <laughs> oh, Ollie! Chris, Chris has been away for two weeks and, um, oh wow! That is a. I feel nostalgic. It's uh, bringing back memories <laughs> to the back, past. It? Yes. Poor Rachel oh. didn't know what she was doing in Malaysia. Before I leave, the village headman is determined to see if I can shoot his blowpipe. <laughs> <laughs> Great one. Really good one. And we're off. That was sent by Avril in Cambridge, Jed and Milton Keynes, uh, Claire from Highbury and Luke. Keep sending in the clips to scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. OK, over to Crufts now from earlier in the week. And Claire Balding. <laughs> Balding's in the middle of an interview with a woman. <laughs> what? Go on, put yourself together. It's only Crofts. <laughs> Claire Balding is in the middle of interviewing a woman who is really attentive when it comes to looking after her dog. And in terms of preparation for a canopper, I mean, a lot of it is, is trimming rather than brushing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I mean, she was already trimmed before we got here. Um, I touched her up a little bit today. <laughs> <coughs> oh, why? Oh. Why do I do this? <laughs> oh, David off of Hendon is loving your dapper English teacher look. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Mm, I think it's the roll neck. Is it? I think so, too. I, I still, to this day, can't work out if it's fashionable or not. But if one D sits fine, then I will. Yeah, yeah. And in terms of preparation for a canopper, I mean, a lot of it is, is trimming rather than brushing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Um, I mean, she was already trimmed before we got here. Um, I touched her up a little bit today. OK. <laughs> Zoe in Sunderland spotted that one on Crofts. God, I've got a puppy recently. He gets that pink pencil. It's awful. What? Gets the what? Crack on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd move on. Oh, I don't want to know. <laughs> OK, more to please. <laughs> <laughs> let's, play, let's play one of the best clips from last week while Chris was off. It's from Front Row on BBC Radio 4. And their topic for the day was the fourth plinth in Trafalgar Square. Now, they put all sorts of strange modern art on that plinth, but they've never had anything like this on display before. Some people would argue that the sort of art that has been there on that plinth, for instance, is exactly the sort of thing that alienates audiences, that baffles people, that makes people think, why are we spending money on... Uh, uh, currently, Katerina Fritsch, the artist, has a giant blue cock standing on there. Is that the problem that you have to get over? <laughs> <laughs> you would choose your words differently, come on. <laughs> Talking about the big blue cockerel there in uh, Trafalgar Square. Yeah. I, that I, I've, I've seen it. I've seen it myself. A giant blue cock standing on there. Now we're going over to <laughs> Water Police. Coach Trip on Channel 4. Oh, I love Coach Trip. It's good, isn't it? Now this week, the trip has been to Italy. Some of the contestants really kind of getting involved with the locals during their visit. But apparently no one got more involved than this guy, Matty. Have a listen. At practice, Matty was really, really giving it bags of oomph. <laughs> It's a romantic song. It sounded like he was in a football match. <laughs> I just felt Pavarotti in me. <laughs> God, poor Matty. <laughs> it's coach strip. Coach strip. Is that still on? It's still on. It's Brendan on. Hey! <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, Kevin from Perth, for spotting that one. I just felt. Pavarotti in me. Andy, the <laughs> painter, is watching it for the first time today. Nat from Oxford has never watched before. It's her first time. Just wanted to see Ollie's outfit. I uh, just spat coffee over a tablet. How are you feeling, Ollie? I'm brown. Oh, the fake tan has run so Oh, heavily. my God. Since I last saw you, you're a different colour. No. I know. He's melting. He's melting. Now we're going over to BBC Radio Norfolk. More water, please. Now, presenter Nick Conrad 
seems to have got very much the wrong idea about... <laughs> <laughs> What's happened, Ollie? There's nothing funny about Nick Conrad. <laughs> I, I choked. I, cho- I told you I'm a gagger. <laughs> Sorry. BBC Radio Norfolk, Nick Conrad, and Nick seems to have got the wrong idea about what his listeners do in each other's houses. Have you got CCTV installed at your house? And what's the most surprising thing that you have captured on it? It's probably the next door neighbour's pussy. Um, and that's probably all you've actually seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh well, this is imagine. wet. This is a wet one. Oh, I'm so wet. <laughs> um, yeah, they were quite worried about cats setting off the CCTV cameras there on Radio North. It's probably the next door neighbour's pussy, um, and that's probably all you've actually seen. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> you emailed that one to scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. <laughs> I'm snotting. Oh, Wally. You came in looking so good. Oh, your hair's not really moved, though. <laughs> I'm glad of that. It's incredible. Oh, I know. Are you industrial solvent? OK, so more water, please, on Ollie Lock, in your end of bingo. Now, you missed this one, a brilliant one, while you were away, Chris. Mm. It's an actual advert. I don't think we've ever had an advert on in your end of bingo before. And it's for mouthwash, which okay. includes a slogan that... Water, please. A slogan that, when you think about it, makes a lot of sense. There are some things you wouldn't do by half. So why only do half the job with your mouth? (laughs) (laughs) How did that clear? How did that clear? It's not as good as that advert that you've played before on Bingo. Um, The the Mr. Bucket one. Oh, yeah. For old school. That's a good one. Yeah. Don't worry. Mr. You're a mess. Mr. You're Mr. Barkin? I'm an absolute mess. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get that on again? It's, it's I'll out try there. and find it in a minute. Okay. Uh, yeah, that mouthwash advert there. So why only do half the job with your mouth? Now we're going to an interview. Oh. Water, please. Sorry about this, Ollie. You're a mess. That's why. An interview that I did on the red button the other day with Electro Velvet, who are this year's Eurovision hopefuls. Oh. Now, you know me. I, I always um, like to find out from my interviewees as much as possible. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so what did I do? I really asked the questions that matter. But I didn't expect one of the singers, Alex, to reveal quite this much about what he's into. <laughs> don't, don't spit it out of the song. What, what does that, that say? That's our Eurovision entry. Oh, God. <laughs> is it? Yes. Can we not bring back Peter Andre and have done what with it? What is that? Stop it. Oh, dear. Oh, I honestly, I'm I'm we need to get through this. I feel like a, a, a cheating ex-boyfriend in Towie. I'm soaking. Mm. Oh, yeah. No, you're wet. In a bar scene. Oh, I see what you mean. See so what I mean? In, yes. So I'm the angry girlfriend yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're Lauren Pope. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I do love Lauren. She is lovely. Hmm. Mm. Wasn't keen on getting wet on Bingo, though. No. <laughs> Give us another blast of this Eurovision song, then, Mills. OK. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Unnecessary squirting there! Stop, Stop. immediately! <laughs> How's that going to work live? Shut up! I'm going to write my drawing my ball. Stop it! <laughs> I'll have nothing said Sorry, against it. Sorry, I know you're involved. I'm very much involved. Who sings it? I don't it's know. It's Electro Velvet. <laughs> oh, of course. Crap okay, here we go. Hello, anyone that's listening at Eurovision? It's not me. Here we go. <laughs> Chris, you need to get through this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> right, so Alex is about to reveal what he's into, and I didn't realise. Here we go. Is that all made up on the spot? Yeah, I just went for it and, and did it. Actually, the scat thing is, is something I've always been into. No, no, just say that. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I just went for it and, and did it. Actually, the scat thing is, is something I've always been into. No, no, no. That's what it's called when you do that noise. What he was just doing. <laughs> yeah, don't don't Google what it, it is. It's like the Jungle Book. Nothing wrong with that, Chris. 
Oh, water, please. <laughs> oh, when did, you, when did you announce that that was uh, the... On the red button on Saturday after The Voice. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> you can't do it, can you? <laughs> okay, another one. A classic now from Chris Evans and Lynn Bowles on BBC Radio 2. Now, I'm always amazed by how much information listeners are prepared to share with a national radio station. I really am. Morning, Lynn. This is from Stuart Clark. Morning, Stuart. Morning, Stuart. He says, I'm sitting in my wagon in Wisbech or Wis Beach, waiting to get loaded onto the ferry so I can be blown all the way to Glasgow. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Wally. <coughs> Chris, load up again. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and that was an incredible innuendo bingo. What a good one today. Ollie, I'm so sorry about getting your lovely, beautiful, probably quite expensive <laughs> outfit wet. I love it. I love it. Come see us again soon. That was today's innuendo bingo. Thank you for listening and watching.